Well, good afternoon. I managed to get out again, and despite the amount of work I've got to do and various other things, we've got a nice afternoon. Initially, I was going to come out first thing, but the weather wasn't very good, so I've come out this afternoon. Whether I'll stay out for um, sunset, we don't know. But uh, the basic plan today. Right, so we're going to follow the River Newland, which you can see down there. Um, as we follow it, there are various disused mines and um, waterfalls, etc. So I don't exactly know what we're going to find, but um, we're just going to go along. Hopefully we'll find some good shots. Um, it's not an area I've particularly been to before. But right, well, we've come a bit further along the river. And you can see across there on the other side, um, there's a group of, um, I would imagine the school children that are going up to um, the old mine workings there. Don't know whether you can see at the top of the um, top spoil heap, I believe there's an entrance way and you can go in quite a way. Um, I'm not going to go there at the moment. Right, we've come along to some other disused mine workings, very small. This is called Castle Nook. So um, that may be the, uh, the, the rocky outcrop up above. But you can see here how some of the slate's been mined out. I did decide um, to come in, in the sort of entrance way here to where the mine to try and get a shot. So I'll just show you the back of the camera there. Um, I don't know whether you can see it's quite dark, so um, I'll show you that a bit later. So, um, as you can see, that's that's the shot I've taken. You can see Skidder in the background and Carl Side and Dodd, etc., and some of the um, mine workings framing it. So, uh, if it's any good, we'll show you. Uh, after, I'll put it up on the video after this. Right, well, we've made it up to the waterfall. So it's, um, yeah, it's quite impressive. Never actually seen this one before, although we're not that far from home. But um, yeah, this is pretty impressive. So we're going to look out from some compositions, get some pictures. And there's plenty of mountain waterfalls and cascades going down the river. So we'll see how we do. So. Um, We'll see you a little bit later. Right, so we've come up with this composition. Um, you'll see the back of the camera shortly. Um, but basically the waterfall on the right and then uh, the dripping rocks on the left uh, coming down to the water and I have put uh, a polarizer on to take the sheen off off the rocks and um, uh, trying various um, chutter settings etc and the, what I, the shot I've got at the moment which is one and a third seconds f8 at, one, at 400 ISO um, we've taken a longer one we took a 10 second shot We've taken um, a lot quicker one at um, a sixth of a second. So we'll see which one comes out best and we'll put it up on the video after this. As well as this, I'm probably going to um, move around and get some other compositions and see what we can get. So we'll see you a bit later. Right, 
Right, you can see up there the falls that we were photographing a bit earlier. I've slowly worked down, taking very various uh, compositions. And now I've come down here to this falls. I mean, there's many more yet. Um, but I thought just the contrast between um, the falls on the left there with the, the lesser falls on, on the right. Um, the other thing which I'll, I'll do, I've got a polarizer on, and just to show you the effect, I've taken two shots, one with the lighting effect polarized and one with it out, so I will um, put both up to show you the effect on that. Alright, if you watched the video to this point, I thank you very, very much. If you've enjoyed it, please uh, click on the, the thumbs up. Um, and if, if you really like um, what I'm doing, please subscribe. But thank you for watching this. Um, as you can probably see, it's getting a bit dark now. Heading back to the van and then home. So um, we'll see you on the next video.